If Lewis could kill, I would have been killed about a year ago as I stood outside the Civil Rights Museum in Montgomery, Alabama. I happened to be enjoying this historic day with my fellow diverse North Central students when an old white man drove up in his 1950s or 60s Ford pickup. He stopped before he even got to the stoplight and just turned and glared at us from his truck. The joy I'd been feeling instantly became cold fear as his face clearly indicated that we we're not welcome there. For the first time in my life, I was able to see through the window of time and history and into the fear that so many endured on a daily basis. It was the first time that I feared my own race and what they were capable of doing, as I was able to put my feet into the shoes of so many who came before me and saw that same face, though on a different person and in a different time. It was that same glare driven by the same hate. And when I left Alabama, I brought back that feeling of fear and that knowledge of hate back with me, and I really struggled knowing that it existed. I knew I had to do something, but I wasn't sure what. Until I came upon the quote, hate cannot drive out hate, only love could do that. And now I know Dr. King was right, but I didn't know how to get people to love. Because we say love often, but we act on our feelings of hate more often. And I think that's because hate is easy. Love is hard. Hate doesn't require a relationship, but love does, making us vulnerable as we have to acknowledge others as humans and worthy of love while we look for it in return. As a history education major, I went into student teaching focused on this and how I could get my students to learn how to love to drive out that hate. I worked to teach them the portions of history that they had never learned, the portions driven by hate. I worked to make history become real for my students as I learned about the brave Little Rock Nine and the murder of Emmett Till. People who are not much different than they were and people who they could form a relationship with. As my students were learning the history of hatred perpetrated against African Americans and minorities in this country, they started to show signs of love. And now I know I may not have been able to get through to all of my students, but I do know that I was able to change the hearts of some of them. The power lies in creating passionate hearts determined to drive out hate. So in a city where so many people had devoted their lives to fighting for justice and equality, I lost my blissful ignorance with the face of hate. Through getting to learn the more real history and getting to experience the hate that I never would have been able to experience in any way before, and teaching it to high school students who had thought history was useless, I'm confident now that if we as history teachers, parents, scholars, and fellow humans took it upon ourselves to face, embrace, and value our history, and then to continue to teach that, that we can start to learn how to face hatred and with love drive it out. And this is not an easy feat. It is messy and uncomfortable. But through this, we can learn our purpose and with purpose hope for a better tomorrow. Because as James Baldwin so aptly said, not everything we face can be changed, but nothing can be changed until it's faced. Thank you.